A few weeks ago, I came across a posting on Reddit in the Casio subreddit from a user who goes by the name of Learn Design Build. He did a pretty awesome job on his AE1300 watch mod. Here's a shot of his work. There are essentially three unique things that he did. First, he sanded down the case to not only remove the lettering and smooth out the rough edges left over from the molding process, but to also give it a more gritty metal look. Next, he applied a light blue filter over the LCD in an unexpected way, which we'll get to in a minute. And finally, he replaced the strap with a super cool elastic single pass strap. So in today's video, I'm going to try and replicate his awesome job and see what happens. So let's hop right in and check it out. First of all, this is a pretty low risk mod. The AE1300 is an excellent watch, but it is so inexpensive. You can pick one up on Amazon for less than $17. So if you try this out and mess it up, you can just go buy another one and try again. So I wasn't really too familiar with this model, but it's actually pretty sweet. It uses the same case as the AE1200, the Casio Royale as it's called. On this watch, I did some light modding already. I removed the lettering on the case, and I also got rid of some of the text from the dial just to clean it up a little bit. And I replaced the bracelet with this mesh band, which I really like. It's quite adjustable and fits nicely. There's a whole community online dedicated to showing off mods for this watch. So who knows, maybe we can start a little trend with this AE1300 version. So the more I play around with this watch, the more I like it. It's essentially a referee watch. It's got a twin stopwatch for timing matches, and it includes time measurement and elapsed time measurement in the same mode. So that when you stop the stopwatch using the bottom right button, the elapsed time still continues on in the background, and then you hold down the A button to clear everything out and reset it. And in timer mode, it has nine preset timers for quick setup, so you can cycle through them here. And it also has an interval timer mode with nine timers, so that you can easily set up workout timers, for example, and have the watch cycle through them. So for example, you might have two minutes of workout, and then one minute of rest, and then four minutes of a different workout, and one minute of rest, etc. So it really does have some useful features. The text is big and bold, and there's three circular LCDs on the top that count minutes, seconds, and 10 second intervals. And on top of all that, you've got 100 meters of water resistance, a 10 year battery, a strong LED light, world time, alarms, and hourly chime. All right, so here's what we need to get started. So I've got some sandpaper. I've got a really rough sponge to start off with, followed by some fine grit sandpaper. And I've got some blue painter's tape to mask out the black area on the watch. I've also got some goo gone and some Q-tips to facilitate the removing of the text on the dial itself. And then I've also got this stretchy single pass strap from cheapestnatostraps.com. I chose the black version with the blue highlights and I will go ahead and leave a link in the description below where you can check out all of their straps. They're based in Sweden. It took about two weeks for me to get this package, but it was only about five or six bucks. So it's a pretty good deal. And then finally, you'll need some screen protectors from Amazon because each one of these screen protectors comes attached to this thin blue film. And if you're careful in taking off the film, you can actually use this as an application to the LCD for a really unique look. It's an ingenious move by Learn Design Build, and I'm definitely excited to check it out. So let's start off by removing the case back from this watch so we can get out the module and the dial inside. And here is the module itself, which looks pretty cool with those three circular LCDs at the top. And here is the dial. I'm going to be removing the words from the bottom, water resistant 100 meter at the top, and also countdown timer in the middle. 
So I'm going to take some dabs of Goo Gone on a Q-tip, apply a little elbow grease, and start to get rid of the stuff on the dial that I don't want. And after about 20-25 minutes of scrubbing, I finally have a dial that I like with some of the text removed and also the little dots on the left and right I decided to remove as well. So now I'm going to remove the strap so I can get at the case and begin some of the sanding process. So here's the case itself. I'm going to actually use some painter's tape to mask out this black area to protect it during sanding. And you can see some of the lines on the side left over by the resin molding process, which I'm going to try to get rid of. So let's go ahead and put some blue painter's tape around the edges, trim it up a little bit, and make sure that black area is protected. So I think we're good with the painter's tape here, protecting the black portion of the watch. So right off the bat, I'm going to use this coarse sanding sponge and get rid of some of the burrs and work on that line around the edges. And then once I have some of that worked out, I'm going to take some fine 1500 grit sandpaper and clean up my work. And then as a last step, I'm going to use my Dremel with a brush on the end just to clean up some of the leftover pieces of plastic and make it all look smooth. So let's remove the tape. I did decide to go with more of a smooth polished look instead of a rough metal look, but I think this looks great. I really like how this came out, so let's move on to the next step. So let's pull out one of these screen protectors from the packet and the next step here is to remove this blue film from the screen protector itself and then apply it onto the LCD right over the top. It comes off pretty easily but you do have to be careful not to bend or crinkle it. And this package from Amazon actually comes with a whole lot of stuff inside. We've got a whole bunch of alcohol wipes, uh, some instructions here and also some lint-free cloths and five screen protectors in total so if you mess up you can always just grab another one and try again. So after applying the screen protector to the crystal I'm going to slowly but surely remove the blue film and then proceed to line it up and apply it directly onto the module. Make sure it lines up nicely, press down a little bit and then I'm going to slowly remove that tab that came on top and then smooth down the edges a little bit and try to get out as many air bubbles as possible. And then next I'm just going to give it a brief trim around the edges just to remove any excess blue film that might be hanging over the edge. And then finally we can move on to the assembly stage. I'm going to take the dial and place it back into the case. And then gently put the module back in the case, making sure it lines up and that the metal tabs next to the pushers are making good contact. So I actually opted to remove the screen protector from the crystal. It just didn't look right. But here we go, here's the final case and it's looking pretty good. So here is the final product. This is the AE1300 mod. We've got a sanded and brushed case, a cleaned up dial, applied a blue film over the module and also included a really cool stretchy single pass strap which I really enjoy. And you would think that with a yellow LED light along with blue film that the light would be green but nope it's still yellow and shines through nice and bright. And here is the final product on my wrist. I've got a 6.75 inch wrist and this new strap feels great. The mod looks excellent. And I really want to thank Learn Design Build from Reddit for letting me co-opt his idea for this AE1300 mod. I think it came out awesome and I'm really enjoying this watch so far. So anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. Leave some comments down below if you have any suggestions on future videos or anything else you'd like to see and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again. Have a great day.